since the early uh, 70s, late, uh, late 60s, a lot of conceptual artists were using conceptual art as a way to manifest themselves politically, especially because they were working in repressive regimes under uh, military dictatorships. Conceptual art proved to be a less visible way of uh, dissent and protest, a way of infiltrating the system and a way of uh, subverting it and, uh, and transmitting messages. So political activism continues to be present in different ways and in different uh, artists today. In the exhibition, Wilson Diaz, who's an artist from Colombia, uh, born in the town of Pitalito. He comes from a town where the drug economy was always very present. The cocaine trade in the daily life of every inhabitant, was no, there was no way to, uh, to escape from that. So different works that he's done have to do uh, from finding how the coca leaf is present in everyday life, how the coca leaf also had a historical uh, everyday uses as part of the culture, but also how its illegal economy and uh, its consumption beyond the borders of Colombia has produced a, a climate of, uh, of violence and of, uh, uh, and of, of, of murder, no? which has affected uh, in a way uh, many of the inhabitants, not only of Colombia, but of the rest of, uh, of Latin America. The works we're presenting, one is uh, two drawings. The drawings are made with the pulp of the coca leaf. And in one he writes the indigenous names of the coca leaf, and in the other the scientific, or as he calls it, the colonized name of the coca plant. So we go back to the idea of indigenous knowledge, to the idea of, uh, of how the plant was used uh, before, and how now, uh, even though illegal, it has been uh, transformed into a merchandise that produces a worldwide economy of millions, you know. The other work is a neon piece that says the movement of the liberation of the coca plant. And of course, in doing so, he liberates the coke economy of all that that has violently affected uh, people like him and, uh, and his family and friends and most of the people around him. Now.